Hello everybody, and welcome to the Create and Learn channel where we make magic with technology. Computer programming is an exciting and practical field of study for kids, but it can be difficult to know where to begin. There are so many programming languages out there, and they all have their specific uses. So, in this video, I'll show you five different programming languages to help you decide which language is best for your child to start with. First up, we have Scratch Jr. Scratch Jr. is a fantastic platform for very young children, from about kindergarten up through second grade. The platform allows kids to make games and animations using built-in graphics and sounds, and a very simple drag-and-drop block programming interface. With Scratch Jr., kids can learn basic coding concepts and problem-solving, while also getting to apply their imaginations to their creations. Here we see an example of an aquarium animation, with fish dancing around the screen. And here we see a foot race between different animals. Scratch Jr. runs on iOS and Android, and is a great way to introduce kids very early to the concept of computer programming. For children grades 2 through 6, Scratch may be the better option. Like Scratch Jr., Scratch comes with a lot of built-in graphics and sounds, and uses blocks for its programming, but it introduces a lot more complex logic. Scratch projects are also able to be shared very easily, so kids can design games or animations and share them with their friends and family. A lot of very complex games and other kinds of programs have been made and shared around the world using Scratch. Here we see a platformer game where the player can run and jump, collect apples, and avoid enemies and obstacles. When you're first starting out, you'll probably start with something a little simpler, like this Flappy Bird clone. Or maybe this maze game. Scratch is a great way for your child to learn how to code without worrying about the complexities of text-based programming. Its block coding style allows kids to focus on their creativity while they learn core programming concepts. For older kids who are ready to jump into the world of text-based coding, about 4th grade and higher, Python may be the way to go. Python is a very popular and widely used language across the industry, and it's used for everything from data analysis and machine learning to making video games. Python features a very easy to read and easy to write syntax, so it's a great way to dive headfirst into text-based coding without feeling too overwhelmed. Here we see a matching game created with Python and using a library designed to create user interfaces. Now it was used to make a game here, but that same library can also be used to create productivity applications, like word processors. And here we see a space shooter game, once again created with Python, using a graphics library specifically designed to make video games. Python is a language used by hobbyists and professionals alike, and just knowing Python can open up a wide array of career possibilities. So, if your child is interested in text coding, Python is a great place to start. Web development is a skill set that's going to be in high demand for the foreseeable future, so learning HTML, CSS, and JavaScript is a great way to open up your career opportunities. This is great for kids about 4th grade and higher, as it's also a text-based type of coding. HTML is used to create the content on the page, CSS is used to style it, and JavaScript is used to add interaction. Here we can see a website that makes use of all three to create an engaging and interesting interface. With the world of technology continuing more and more to rely on web-based solutions for their applications, it's a great field of study for anyone who is interested in getting into software development. For older kids interested in robotics, learning to program in C++ using an Arduino can be a great way to get started. With Arduino, you can work with the real hardware, or you can work with software emulators like Tinkercad. Tinkercad also has the benefit of allowing block-based programming for Arduino to get started without having to dive headfirst into text-based coding. Arduinos are used to control a plethora of electronic devices, everything from simple LEDs all the way up to motors and servos. They're used widely across the industry in automation and robotics. Here we see a Tinkercad mock-up of a simple self-driving car. The Arduino is used to control both the motors for the wheels and the ultrasonic sensor so the car can tell what's in front of it. C++ is one of the more complex programming languages out there, but knowing how to program in C++ allows you to program very complex systems to run very efficiently. So, if your children are interested in robotics, 
consider looking into Arduino as a means to learn how to program. Your kids can get started with our free classes and follow our structured learning path to aid in fast learning and see real progress. They'll enjoy live online guidance from an expert to answer questions right away, and they'll go through curriculum designed by pros from Google, Stanford, and MIT. And here's some tips to get your kids excited about learning to code. Tip number one, focus on what they find fun. If they're having fun, then they'll want to learn how to do more. Tip number two, make sure they're learning a coding language that doesn't feel too difficult. Look back through this video and pick the one that feels best for their level. And tip number three, be sure they share their creations. It can be very exciting to get positive feedback from friends and family on something they made on a computer. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. See you next time.